Well, good morning once again from the Florida RV Super Show 2020. And you ask and you shall receive. Let's check out some of these Regency uh, RVs. I'm free in my RV, yeah. Okay, this is the Ultra Braham Regency from Fort Worth, Texas. This one would be a 165, normally 140, roughly, here at the RV show. This is a Murphy bed unit, of course, on the new Sprinter chassis. And check it out, the rear bathroom here on this unit. We have a TV that goes up and down which is located in front of your uh, sofa. Uh, other RV, RV manufacturers that don't do this, it's not that difficult to take notes. And um, let, me, let me put the TV back, back up so I can... We have the uh, MCD shades here on all these windows. And uh, here's the kitchen, induction cooktop. This is very nice. We have a bathroom back here. Hello everybody, that's me on the mirror. Ceramic toilet. I mean, it looks like everything seems to be very premium and uh, it's a very soft closing. It's, it's a very satisfying, it's not necessarily soft closing, but it's, it's like, it, you know, it's soft going down. I don't know how you call it, but it's, um, everything feels pretty good. Pretty good in the sense, you know, the, the, the cabinets, when you open and close them, they are not, overly difficult you know it's it's very nice oh here we have access to the outside uh, 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 access to the outside storage from in here from the bathroom that's very clever here we have the domestic refrigerator and i do believe this is the one that you can open from either side yep check that out that's actually oh they have water that's actually a very clever design. And, and I know there are other RVs that had um, that same refrigerator and I totally didn't notice it, but now I did. And then the Murphy bed. And um, no, this is the furnace and that's a propane furnace. So you know, it is not an all electric coach, but it, is, uh, it does have that induction cooked up. That one has loud music and I'm gonna get a copyright strike. So let's look at some of these other units here. This one is 139.900 here at the show. The TV slide. We have uh, this very small slide. We have a, a sofa and this is the a TV that I suppose it swivels. So you can watch it while you are sitting down it's probably probably a two-handed operation but yeah yeah it does and here we have tb which stands for twin beds in the back i like the fact that they have you know both um both beds have usbs light switches and uh, power uh, power outlets and we have a tv back here lots of storage up here even a, a small wardrobe closet now for the bathroom here we have the toilet and uh, and on this side we have well, that's a very nice large skylight here in the ceiling of the shower and look at that, this beautiful uh, light accent this is this doesn't really serve any purpose but it's it's just beautiful Mirror here, of course, this door closes there, so you get a little bit of privacy here in the back of the coach. Actually, I'm surprised I hadn't seen this before. These are very nice. And this one has a Norcold refrigerator, absorption style. Induction cooktop. The only thing, not a whole lot of... Uh, counter space here and I hear an alarm I didn't touch anything I swear all right let's check this one out this is the the natural the Nash 
National Traveler. This is of course on a um, on, um, on a Ram Pro Master uh, chassis here, Regency, and this one is uh, nine, uh, uh, normally 106. Here at the show is 99,900. And let's see how we can open this. Oh, it is it is magnetic. Look at that. I guess this is uh, kind of permanent. It doesn't really. Uh, it's, it's it's not a sliding uh, screen or anything like that. But it closes magnetically, and that's. That's actually kind of cool. I like it. Here's the, this by the way, a true class B. This is um, a class B on the ProMaster chassis, which is the, for those of you in Europe, that's the American version of the Fiat Ducato. We have uh, our multiplex screen here with uh, all the controls that uh, you can, uh, all lights off. I always love doing that when, especially when other people are in the rig. Decent storage up here. Yeah, it has this. Uh, I guess they have to uh, conform to the to the shape of the van in, in a certain way. Uh, here we have, um, and this is a compressor, refrigerator, which kind of leads me to believe this rig might be all electric. I, maybe I should ask. One induction cooktop. Some storage up here. I mean, it's it's your regular class B with the sofa bed in the back and these two. I mean, the the floor plan is is kind of standard. Here we have a place where you can put a bed. It's a small-ish wet bath, which uh, it's adequate. I mean, you, you you could take a shower in there, but it's uh, it's small. And here we have. This sit here, and this is, I imagine, a table that uh, actually that's a very <laughs> it's a, a astonishingly simple thing, simple design, but it works. It's, it, it has no no complicated uh, you know gears or, or piano hinges. It's just the way the the, the piece of wood sits there and then it goes down. That's actually very, very clever. It's refre refreshingly simplistic, which is actually good because the, the more, the more uh, parts you have in a, in a unit, the more things can break. In my, in my experience, we have the radio here, and main power, so you can... I don't know exactly what they mean because the power is on. Uh, I'll ask. We have a third thermostat controlled Coleman Mac and uh, right now in the morning it's in the 60s so we don't really need air conditioning but I'm sure that unit is going to be a, and I'm trapped in here. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure that air conditioning unit is going to be going a full throttle for most of the day later today. And this is the That was the SPT Explorer, and this is the TVL Tour 79900 here at the show today. I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough. It's just a slightly different floor plan because in this one you could have twi these twin beds that I'm sure they convert into a huge sleeping surface back there. We have a little bit of counter space here, which is nice. TV back here and... Um, An ever chill. Oh, that's a lot of water in there. A compressor, refrigerator, standard microwave. Now let's look at one more uh, on the on the uh, one of the the, the the B plus or C class C units here. And here, this one doesn't have any information on the outside, but I think we have some here inside. And um, this is the Ultra Braham Motorhome by Regency. At this, this would be my unit. The TV is not in the best uh, place ever, but I guess we could both sit at the swiveling seats here in the front to watch TV. We don't really watch TV all that much anyway, so it wouldn't be a deal breaker. 
is uh, as, as much as and we have two more chairs here and we could put a table here in the middle that that's what I would personally use probably to work since since as, as, as you know we are a, a working RVing uh, family here you I like the the power plugs with USBs that you can use to plug your electronics very nice deep sink here and uh, not a whole lot of counter space but you know it's a uh, this is a relatively small unit we have the same refrigerator that opens from both sides we have a, a convection microwave and here in the back and i don't know why they have the radio on because it's very hard to to concentrate and do the video but i hope you guys can hear me okay it's a so it's a walk around island bed with a huge mirror and we have both his and hers as i say closets and more storage up there let me see let me see how uh and with, even with the sound bar so it's very uh, nice to, to watch television here at uh, in, in the bed in bed and um let's check out the bathroom this is a nice shower i really like I, I know it really probably doesn't serve any purpose, but it's really, I, I, I find it really beautiful with the, with the accent lighting, you know, it, it would be a, a joy to shower in here with uh, this big skylight and uh, yeah, shower under the stars. Yeah, but way, this door closes uh, here and it creates kind of like a private area here in the back and it does lock in position and let's see the other facilities here yeah i had to do that right that's a, a, a porcelain toilet here we have a um, medicine cabinet which you open hold on oh i'm trapped in here now bathroom lights Woo! bathroom fan it has a it has a small fan there, you can, and here's the medicine cabinet. And uh, here's another little storage area, maybe for your shampoo and your shaving, shaving cream and that sort of thing. Yeah, this is probably my favorite, just because I, I, I kind of like having the island bed in the back. We have a drawer here also for storage. And yeah, some of these island beds in the backs of rigs, sometimes they lift up, oh, lo and behold, and there's storage down there. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the coach now so other people can step inside and see it. We have Truma Aqua Go on board, which is very nice. Let me see if I can open the storage here in the back. And this, of course, would be uh, what's behind the under the bed. Oh, look at that. You have, uh, you can access, you can access from the bedroom this storage area back here that's very clever that's very clever because sometimes you know it could be raining and you don't want to get out of the coach to, to grab something so if you have something small back there you can grab it from the bedroom which is really nice Riding, riding in 